Hey, good morning, Valley Middle School STEM. Welcome back to the second rotation of STEMS Day activities for the 2015 and 16 school year. We'd like to thank Half Price Books for sponsoring this activity. Today, your challenge will be to design and build a phonograph in your small group. More specifically, design, build, evaluate, and improve a system to produce sound from a record album. You're kidding me, right, Richard? No, we're serious. I don't even know how a record player works. Well, let's turn to our expert here at VMSS to get some background on that. Okay, Coach Ozzy, can you tell us how a record player works? Well, you know, it's really pretty simple. A turntable spins the record around, and when you set the needle on the spinning record, the needle vibrates. Those vibrations are then amplified by a speaker so that we can hear them. But, boy, I can tell you about eight tracks, too, if you'd really like. I got lots of stuff Mr. McKegg doesn't even know about in my room. Film strip, strip projectors, tape recorders, slide projectors. I even got a trap door. And I got a sweet reel-to-reel -reel that you're going to have to see. All right, Coach. Well, uh, maybe for a different activity, but thank you, Doc. No problem. <laughs> Your materials today will be a piece of paper, a piece of tape, a pen, a pencil, and a record. Not much. Yikes. There will be constraints, of course, you need to follow as well. You can only use these materials that are, have been provided. You may not use any type of electronic device for research or other purposes. And you can't run down to Mr. Ozzy's room to see the last functioning record player in the school district. Uh, they're busy working on their 7th grade STEM project. All right. As you work through this process using the collaborative design process, I want you to spend some time imagining and designing, and then basically get right into that create, test, evaluate, and improve uh, phase until around 8.15. Make sure you leave time to share out and see what other people have done, uh, and then also have a wrap-up conversation. Homeroom will end today at 8.25. As you work through the process, of building, testing, evaluating, redesigning, trying to get the maximum sound out of your record, be thinking about this. What variables are impacting the sound quality? And can you tweak any of those variables to improve the sound quality? Those of you who finished early, can you improve your system using any other materials available in your classroom? And I'll kind of let you break one of the constraints there and try some other things. And can you develop a system to keep that record spinning at a constant speed? Can you play an entire song? Who invented liquid soap and why? Oh, sorry. Uh, all right. Uh, as you get into the wrap-up phase, place the record back in the sleeve um, and place the record and pencil and uh, into that base, and, and we'll pick those up. So thank you very much, both dudes and dudettes. You're all most excellent.